We're going to go through the basics of nunchaku. Now, I'm going to start off with a front crossover. To do this, it's easy if you just put it down by your side, lift it up so you're taking it over your right shoulder. I bring my left hand in front and catch this. It's important when you do this that you bring your elbow so it's pointing out the side. Not in front, it makes it a little bit more difficult. So, take it up, catch it. When I'm doing this, I'm only using light finger grips. I let go and transfer it over to the other side, so we're now completing one side to the other side. So this is front and front and front. Next movement, a back crossover. All I have to do is turn to the side. This allows the nunchaku to flow smoothly across my back. I'm bringing my hand down to my kidney area, and that way I can just catch it, so it now goes to the back. Again, lift your arms up so you can stretch back with this. Turn one side and then the other side, catching it to the back. I have to say, a few of these movements take a little practice, but once you get into it, it's fairly easy to do. The turn makes all the difference. Combine these together, one front, one front, turn, one back, one back. Next movement is a neck crossover swinging it around your neck this way. You can start in this position, revolve it so it goes around, take it around your neck. To clear your shoulder, have the shaft so it just goes below your earlobe. We're just touching your earlobe will be okay on it. All right, so there's one cross. Now this is a neck crossover, arms crossed. I swing it around again, and this is uncrossed. So crossed one, uncrossed. Crossed, uncrossed. If we start again, you've now got front, front, back, back, neck, neck. Next movement for you is a movement where I call a bounce. And that is to bounce it off your hip. So you can just turn to the side and bounce it. When I bounce it, I bring it back and catch it. Now, all you have to do, start in this position, turn it to the one side. It's going to my left side. I bounce and catch bring it over my head, turn, bounce and catch, turn, bounce and catch, turn, bounce and catch. Link all these movements together, front, front, back, back, neck, neck, bounce, catch, over your head, bounce and catch. Figure of eights are a, a popular movement. To do this, I extend the nunchaku out and all I have to do is use wrist action, so it's to my wrist, not my elbow moving, and the nunchaku flows nice and smoothly. From a figure of eight position, I'm going to do an underarm catch, so I just take it, catch it under my arm. So, figure of eight out, underarm catch. From this position, I can go underarm catch and back. Back into figure of eight and around. Back over this way, catch. Again, it just takes that little bit of practice. Make sure when you're doing this, there's a little bit of tension on the cord so it's not sloppy when you do your movement. Extend out so you've got a movement. So, figure of eight one way, figure of eight the other way. That's your basics. Have a go. The next few movements I'm going to show you are a little bit more advanced. Now, in the last session, I showed you how to do a figure of eight. Just remind you, this is a figure of eight. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to do a reverse figure of eight. So figure of eight goes this way around, so it's going left to right, and now this one goes in the opposite direction. You've got a figure of eight, and what I'm going to introduce is a finger spin in, and then going into a reverse movement, then a finger spin to take out back to a normal one. I'll turn around this way, so we've got figure of eight First, finger spin over to the side and now into reverse position. Finger spin back and back over, normal underarm catch position just to finish this off. This way. A reverse one is taking it in the opposite direction. What I'm doing on this is I'm just taking this around and up and under. Right? So it comes around goes to the back of my tricep muscle and I can just catch it so this takes it around and then you can follow it around with other movements again. So I'll just repeat that one again for you. In, around and catch. 
Just take a little bit of practice. Don't try and do this and move to the side. Keep your head still and bring the nunchaku away from your head. Common fault, hit you on the back of the head there. Not good fun. More advanced movements on nunchaku. Now, a back crossover is taking it this way. From a figure of eight, which I have explained, you can now take it up to your back and across this way. So, figure of eight, around to the back and up. So, if I turn around this way, you can see I bring it around to catch it. Another version of a back crossover is to tuck your shoulder underneath your chin, take it to your back, so you're going across the back and through. And you can repeat these either way. So you go one way, shoulder took right the way in, so you can still have to really stretch out and catch it. So in and catch and back. In this section I want to show you how to do a hand spin. Now when you're doing this, you need to line the nunchaku up correctly. So the edge is just by the edge of your hand. So the top of the shaft is by the edge of your hand. And you can just practice one side first, so you can just let this rotate around your hand. I find it easier with a cord. Some people do this with a chain as well. And you can just see that you can rotate it from one side to the other. Once you get used to spins, they start to work a little bit easier as you turn with movement. So that way you can just let them flow around. And I put bounces into the spin, all right? So it just bounces off certain parts of my body, which allows it to spin and move nice and easy. And that way you get good control over your nunchaku. Be safe with this one, not sorry. In this section, I want to show you how some of these movements all slot in or work together. Now, when you're starting to do nunchaka, the way you, you, you start is important. Make a bow. Come into a ready position. This is a front crossover. These are the back crossovers. These are the neck ones. This is the bounce turn over to the other side. This is the figure of eight and the reverse movement that I was showing you earlier on. This is that reverse back crossover, so you can just see that you can catch these and move around. And I'm completing the movements now just by putting in a few spins just to get things to work. When you're doing nunchaku, it's important to let your body flow with the weapon.